Hi, I'm Anadea Judith, and it's been my life's work to study the chakra system. Over the last 45 years, I've climbed up the chakras, I've climbed back down, I've spiraled around to the heart, and I've looked at the deep inner psychology of this profound architecture of the soul. I've written nine books on the subject and taught thousands of people all over the globe. And now I'm developing a tribe of rainbow warriors who can learn this system and take it out into the world through this chakra healing quest. You know, many people think that healing is just a matter of working with the physical body. But we're much more than our physical bodies. We are energetic bodies as well. And just as the physical body has a structure, our energetic body has a certain architecture too. In fact, the chakras, energy centers in the body, can be thought of as the organs of the energetic body in the same way the heart and stomach are organs of the physical body. And when we heal, we want to go into that energetic body and take care of those organs as well. Now, long ago in ancient India, most people were involved, as many are still today, in the day-to-day -day challenges of survival, their families, their farms, their animals. But then it came along that there was another place to go, a more transcendent place that superseded all of that. And the movement became a journey to wake up to a transcendent consciousness. And in many ways, people thought, well, then the body is bad, or it's bad to look at the earth plane. But the earth plane kept calling us back. About a thousand years ago or so, the tantric yogis developed a philosophy that integrates the spiritual with the physical, that we can find liberation in our physical bodies right here in this plane. And it's not something separate, but something that we integrate together for our wholeness. Long ago in ancient India, as it is in many places of the world today, people were largely concerned with their survival, their families, their farms, their animals. And in fact, at one time they did huge animal sacrifices so that they would have better crops and better survival. But then a movement came along that transcended that, that said there's another place to go, the realm of consciousness, the realm of spirituality. And so the yogis develop meditation techniques to raise our consciousness and expand it into a more holistic and more universal framework. But we couldn't leave the body. It kept pulling us back. We do have to survive on this physical plane. And then the tantric yogis came along, and that is a integrative philosophy that integrates mind and body, heaven and earth, spirit and matter, into one indivisible whole. And from that arose the chakra system, seven stepping stones that take us on a journey from matter to consciousness, from our earthly survival instincts to our highest aspirations, putting them all on one continuum. Now, did those ancestors know then that there would be a time when the earth was threatened, when people would be lost and confused, a time when we needed to find the buried treasure of the soul hidden deep within our chakra system, when we needed this map to find that treasure? Well, ancient prophecies have come to us through various traditions that there will be a tribe of rainbow warriors a tribe that cuts across race and creed and nationality and gender, a tribe of warriors that bring a new system of healing back to the planet for the greening of the earth and the future of humanity. Today, the chakra system is permeating collective consciousness around the world. It's a system that has taken hold of our imagination. But few people really understand what it means and how to utilize this for your everyday lives, how to take it out of the ancient esoteric principles and apply this on a day-to-day -day level. If you would like to learn more about this, join me in this free masterclass with Mind Valley, where you will learn all about healing your energy body through the chakra system. I'll see you there.